Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealer. If you are watching this presentation today on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, hanksters.com. It's where you can find all of our most current inventory. We leave our YouTube videos up at all times for our thousands of YouTube subscribers to watch. However, when a vehicle is funded in full, that car, truck, van, SUV, comes down off of our website letting you know that it's no longer available. Also check us out on Instagram. Not only will we have vehicles such as this one that are gonna be new arrivals to our showroom prior to doing our photo and video shoots, but we will also have a link there to our gift shop, which we have Hankster's apparel, hats, t-shirts, banners, flags, all kinds of cool merchandise that we ship all over the country. So check that out as well. At Hankster's Hot Rods, over the last 20 years, we have been selling a ton of first-gen Camaros. Right now, they are as popular as ever, 67, 8, and 9. Um, we are fortunate to have gotten uh, some really nice pieces through our inventory here. They are really hard to get right now, uh, simply because of the popularity and desirability of the car. But um, today we have a 1968 we're going to present to you that's a, a super nice car. 350, uh, you have a cowl tag up there on the firewall that we will have a still photo of on the website. You have power uh, brakes, power steering, and yes, that is an AC compressor. So we do have AC, it is not factory AC, it is an aftermarket AC system. However, uh, the car does have ice cold air. <clears throat> so let's take a look at it. 38,000 miles, it is documented on the title. So it is an actual miles car. Uh, the front bumper on the car is chrome, obviously. It's in fantastic condition. There's no pitting, flaking, rusting, anything like that. <clears throat> lower spoiler on the car is all in one piece. The lower spoilers on the first-gen Camaros sit real low to the ground, and they are a very brittle plastic. People generally uh, pull them up over a uh, parking lot, parking you know, lot uh, boulders there, and have a tendency to crack them, or they take rock uh, low down there. Uh, road debris and, and get cracked, but this one's all in one piece. You do have a hood scoop here in the center that gives the uh, car a nice mean muscle car look, so it's like a cowled hood. It's like a brown color on the car, uh, real, real nice paint. Uh, 350 designation there on the nose, going to be on the driver and the passenger side in the same spot, and uh, real nice uh, black stripe on the front, and it is the proper designation for the motor under the hood. Five-star mags with raised white letter radial tires. Uh, Camaro SS badging on the driver's side front fender. Car does have dual matching chrome mirrors. Window glass on the vehicle is a uh, real nice shape uh, all the way around, uh, starting with the front windshield. Chrome molding all the way around the front windshield is in good shape. <coughs> Drip rail molding in good condition. Great door fitment to the uh, driver's side front fender and to the rear quarter. You can see that the uh, bottom of the door fits nice and flush to the rockers. There is a rocker molding on the bottom of the car, both driver and passenger side. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the interior. Center console car staple shifter. Uh, door panel is in excellent shape. You have uh, armrest is in great condition. Top of the door is in great shape. Door panel itself is not all warped. You do have a gauge package up front, in front of the uh, 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 staple shifter center console. Uh, black vinyl in the car is in fantastic condition. Driver's side seat, passenger side seat, rear seat. You do have rear seat belts. They are OEM seat belts in the vehicle. <coughs> floor mats, like brand new. Carpeting underneath the floor mats, like brand new. Dome light does illuminate when you open up the driver door. It does look like a LED uh, dome light in there. Uh, seat backs, plastic, in good condition. Sun visors appear to be newer. Underneath the floor mat in the driver's side front. Carpeting's in good shape. Do have your uh, bow tie logo there on the driver's side floor mat. It's gonna be the same on the passenger side. Uh, steering wheel's in good shape. Uh, this 
car is a little tighter fit, you know, on the Camaros. Uh, it does have a larger steering wheel on here. So if you uh, haven't been to the gym and you have a little bit of a belly, you might want to uh, ask us if you're going to fit in the car. Take a look when I'm on a test drive. Um, I'm 5'11". Uh, it's, the steering wheel is just clearing uh, my belly that I got in my age. Uh, top of the roof, in good condition, no blistering, no cracking, no fading. Rear window glass is really nice on the car. Uh, the Chevelles and the Camaros have a tendency to have a lot of scratching going on in the rear window glass when people do the restorations or too lazy to cover them or too lazy to take them out. And uh, they take a lot of hits when uh, going through the restoration process. But this one not only is nice and clear, but the, uh, the uh, chrome stripping around the rear window is in great shape. And then you do have a dual set of six by nines there in the hat rack that uh, do function. We will show you that on the test drive. Brake lights, reverse lights, everything's in good shape there. Uh, chrome on the rear bumper is just as good as the chrome on the front bumper. Let's take a look in the trunk. You do have a spare. Uh, trunk mat, of course. Uh, the uh, condition of the trunk's in good shape there. No rust holes, no rod holes. Somebody stuck a piece of styrofoam in there, but it's nice and uh, solid. They're probably setting something in there, but... Uh, Nice and solid underneath all the way around. We will have still photos as well uh, in the trunk. Does have a rear spoiler on the deck lid. I haven't seen anything yet on the paint that I need to point out that would be a, a, something that would have to be addressed or something that you know I would need to point out. It's real nice paint on the car. Like I said, it's like a, uh, it reminds me of like a, a burnt orange type color, like the uh, like the Chargers were painted, uh, you know, the Mopar cars. Um, real nice, nice looking color though. Uh, check out the body lines on the passenger side of the car. Uh, the door panel's nice and straight to the rear quarter and to the uh, front fender, the dry passenger side door. Uh, check out the chrome at the top of the door, uh, not only in this video presentation, but also in the still photos. There's a little tiny dent there. Uh, but the chrome is not pitted, not rusted uh, around the, uh, your drip rails there. It's all in real nice condition. Let's take a look in the passenger side of the car. The uh, door panel, great shape. Armrest, great shape. Glove box area, passenger side seat. The center console in this car is exceptional as well. That's one of the uh, best uh, conditioned center consoles that I've seen in quite some time. Uh, you know, those things, you can find them online, they're expensive. They're seven, eight hundred bucks, and this one's in uh, real nice shape. Got the real nice OEM seat belts in there. Somebody didn't cheap out there. Uh, real nice car. Both doors open and close with these. Both doors uh, do line up good to the uh, front fender and to the rear quarter, like I've already stated. Uh, the paint on the uh, passenger side front fender is real nice. Camaro designation there on the passenger side front fender. Paint on the hood's real nice. There's no uh, areas of uh, fading of the clear, blistering, cracking, anything on the uh, hood. SS350 badging there in the center of the grill. We did a quick walk around presentation. Uh, we're going to pull it around the building here. We will put it in the air, show you what the undercarriage looks like, and then shortly after that we will drive it. There's no way we could possibly show you everything on this car in a 15, 20, 25 minute video presentation. This is why we encourage you to come in person. Between our still photos and the videos that we do, we try to put you uh, as up close and personal to the vehicle as we possibly can. We try our best to represent each one of our cars as honestly and as accurately as we possibly can. We've been doing this business model for over 20 years, selling classic cars online sight unseen. 90% of our business is done sight unseen, over the phone, through computer, through pictures, through email, through photographs. Uh, we've been very successful at doing so. But if this is your first class of car purchase, please definitely come in person. I buy and sell these cars on a daily, weekly, and yearly basis. I'm very familiar with them. I can uh, usually tell you, uh, 
you know, what, what's wrong? Why, why Camaro headlight doors won't open? Or, you know, why a uh, Camaro won't start? You know, the staple shifter needs to be pushed all the way into park. You know, sometimes if it's not, it doesn't command the uh, ignition cylinder to fire the car because, you know, the two are out of sync. And there's a lot of intricacies that I'm used to because I deal with these classic cars on a daily basis. However, um, you know, if you've never bought a classic car before, or if you've never owned a classic car before, Visit our Daytona Beach showroom. We will show you this car or any other car you might be interested in outside in the uh, sunshine. We will uh, let you pop the hood, pop the trunk. We will put it in the air for you. We'll let you check out the undercarriage, bottom of the uh, motor, uh, oil pan, tranny pan, suspension components, floor pans. We'll let you drive it. You can see what the car performs like, uh, you know, how the motor accelerates, uh, how the brakes work, stop, how tight the steering is. We do it every day. Uh, we enjoy doing it. It's a fun business to be in. And it's fun selling these classic cars. But uh, as, as many videos as I shoot per week, and as many times as I make this statement over and over, people still choose to nine out of 10 times uh, buy the car without coming to Daytona to physically see it in person. And that's fine. Uh, that's, that's fine as well. It's just if you're really picky or you've never owned a classic car, you might want to uh, consider hopping a flight or making a drive down and uh, putting your hands on the car in person. This way, when the car arrives, there's absolutely positively no surprises. Let's take it around the building. We'll throw it in the air and check out the undercarriage and then we're gonna go drive it. Underneath our 1968 Chevrolet Camaro, uh, we have rotors up front, disc brakes. Uh, 350, look at that. The uh, side of the motor, oh, no, we, didn't, we bought this car like this. We didn't paint this block, we didn't paint this oil pan, so you can tell that the motor is fresh, although I do not have any documentation as to when it was rebuilt or how many miles are on it, but you can tell, obviously, it was recently done. <clears throat> uh, dual headers. Going into uh, your exhaust, let me see here, I believe, yes, it is a Flowmaster, so we will uh, show you that throughout the presentation here. The uh, transmission pan. Uh, you can see it's nice and dry. Take a look at, see the speedo cable? Dry. Tail shaft seal? Dry. The uh, cross member that's holding the transmission up uh, from the driver's side to the passenger side frame rail, that's all uh, nice and solid. So when you're looking at floor pans on a vehicle, you want to make sure that they're, you know, I mean, sometimes they're patched and the patches are okay as long as they're done correctly. Um, these are not though. These are, uh, you know, all solid uh, driver's side, solid all the way back, passenger side, solid all the way back. So I doubt highly that they're the uh, original pans, but I guess it's possible. But um, nonetheless, they're in excellent condition. Exhaust is in good shape, uh, both driver and passenger side, uh, both mufflers. I don't see any uh, rust holes, rod holes, pin holes, anything like that. <clears throat> 10 volt rear, in good shape. Your compartment there up where your back seat meets the trunk area is uh, in good condition. You can see there's no rust or rot there. The frame rails look good all the way back on the driver and the passenger side. <clears throat> no dents in the gas tank. Uh, the uh, drop downs on the rear quarters look fantastic. I know it's hard to see because you got a leaf spring, then your exhaust system, and then of course your uh, quarter, but that is metal to metal. There is no Bondo. In fact, you can see me sticking my finger. This is the outer uh, metal shell here. I'm sorry, the inner metal shell, and then the outer metal shell, and there's nothing in between. I can actually put my finger in there, so it's all good stuff. <clears throat> this is a high quality Camaro, uh, and first gen Camaros are extremely hot. This one will go quickly. If you're a cash buyer, we accept certified bank check from your bank, and we also accept uh, bank wire transfer if you're doing business sight unseen. If you're coming to see us here in Daytona, uh, we can certainly take cash too. That still does spend these days, believe it or not. Also, uh, if you're financing, we do have three different collector car lenders that will do up to a eight year loan on this car. 10% minimum down, and then the remaining balance over that five to eight year period, whatever you get approved for. There's no prepayment penalty. So if you take it out for five, six, seven years and you decide you wanna pay it off in a year or two or sell it in a year or two, you aren't gonna get penalized for paying off that loan early. <clears throat> no matter what your funding source is, whether it's cash or financing, uh, the, once we are funded, the car gets put through a pre-delivery inspection. That process is recorded. 
uh, and you get a copy of it on the uh, keychain when the car arrives. So the USB thumb drive keepsake, it'll have all the photos in the showroom, all the, uh, the video presentation we did for you uh, here, the YouTube video, and then of course the pre-delivery inspection video. And that'll all come uh, on the keychain when the car arrives. Once the inspection is completed and the guys say it's ready to go, we call it carrier for pickup. And generally it's 24 to 48 hours to get a truck here. Um, and then shipment time all obviously depends where you're located in the United States and how many other vehicles are on board. Um, and if you're coming to pick it up yourself, either uh, if you're driving it here uh, in Central Florida or you are bringing your own trailer, we'll let you know that it's ready and you can come get it. Let's set this beautiful 68 Camaro down on the ground. We will take it out on the streets here and see how this car runs out. 68 Chevy Camaro, horn, turn signals, driver, passenger, wipers, uh, fuel, functioning. We put 20 bucks in it and it registered. Um, Radio. Works. AC. It does work and it does blow cold. Gauges. Battery voltage. Clock doesn't work. We don't fix clocks. Oil pressure. Temperature. Good stuff. Headliner's in great shape. Dash pad's in great shape. Your paint around the uh, glove box area there is in good condition. Center console's in real nice shape. Does have a little auxiliary hanging here for the uh, radio, if you want to use that. Good stuff. Uh, let's get... Uh, Let's get on the test drive and see how it runs out. It's a super nice car. If you're looking for a high quality 68 Camaro, this is probably the one for you. It tracks nice and straight when you let go of the wheel. Steering's nice and tight. The pickup on this car for a uh, 350 is fantastic. I'll show you that here in a couple minutes. We men uh, mentioned in the undercarriage presentation, front disc brakes, car stops, nice. Nice and straight, just like it should. No vibration, no pulsation. I mentioned pickup. Car picks up nice. Speedometer is functioning. It is uh, accurate and it is steady. Nice car. We'll take it up here. It is race week here in Daytona. We have a lot of traffic, so I will try to get it up as fast as I can, but odds are I'm gonna uh, constantly have somebody in front of me, so I might not be able to get it going too fast. So, but the uh, car runs fantastic. Here we are at idle, uh, you know, got good oil pressure. Our temp's good, functioning. Got battery voltage there, uh, again, we're idling, we're not stalling out, we're not sputtering, spitting, um, no rough idle condition. Here we go, ready? I'm going to shut it down there because I got a car in front of me. Look at this. Coming down from 70 miles an hour. No vibrations whatsoever in the tires, in the front end, in the drivetrain, the steering wheel. What a nice running car. Steering, brakes, air, 350, good paint. Nice interior, bucket seats, center console, staple shifter, cool looking gauges. First gen Camaros are, uh, you know, they're a hot commodity right now and they're hard to come by, especially uh, in the condition like this one is. This is a nice car. Uh, I 
a lot of you probably watch me in multiple videos. You probably hear me say that I buy and sell a lot of cars per year because I do, um, you know, month after month and year after year. And you can tell when you get a, a nice high quality vehicle and this is one of those cars. Uh, this is a very nice, uh, well cared for first gen Camaro, 1968, small block 350. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona. Again, by the way, look at our water temp. Okay, we're like 165-ish maybe. And check out our idle. We're idling perfect. Somebody set this motor up perfect. Uh, Hangsters.com, that's our website. Today we're going to put all the photos we took of this vehicle up for you guys to look at. You can blow them up real big so you can look at them nice and close. And we're gonna put this video presentation we're doing for you right now up as well. At full retail price, this 1968 Camaro includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. Also includes a 12 month, 12,000 mile powertrain warranty. That warranty is not a bumper to bumper warranty. If the oil pan starts leaking, that's on you. If it needs a new set of tires, that's on you. If the starter stops starting the car, that's on you. It's going to cover major mechanical breakdowns, internal components of the engine, transmission, and the rear end. It's good at any ASC certified facility in the United States. So you probably take it to the same person that works on your daily driver. This is a pretty simplistic car. It's a 350 motor. Everything's accessible. It's not like the cars that the guys have to work on today where everything's, you know, there's 18 onboard computers and you got vibrating seats and heated steering wheels and heated mirrors and all the, all the luxuries we're used to today. Is the price of the car negotiable? It most certainly is. However, if we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. Also, the warrant or the shipping comes off. Our full price program is kind of a turnkey type deal. We pay the driver. We make all the shipping arrangements. We give you a 12-12 powertrain warranty. At a negotiated price, you know the luxuries come off. Uh, we'll give you the. Uh, number for the broker who can ship the car for you if you need to. Uh, it, you're just going to pay the driver on delivery with cash or a check. They do not accept credit cards. And again, that warranty is good at full retail price. So at a negotiated cost or price, there is no, uh, there is no warranty program. Also, if you are a collector, you've had a good experience with a shipper in the past, you're more than welcome to use them. We don't make any money off the shipping. In fact, you'd be doing me a favor, giving me less work to do if you uh, provided your own shipping. Also, uh, if you're local to us here in Central Florida, you can always come drive the car home or take the car home on a, on a trailer if you have your own trailer. We'd love to earn your business, add you to our growing customer base, not only throughout the state of Florida and throughout the entire United States, but throughout the entire world. Yes, we do export these cars. We do uh, several exports a month, actually. Once again, Hangsters Hot Rods is located in Daytona Beach, Florida. And one last time, our website is hangsters.com. Please do not hesitate on this 68 Camaro. I can't tell you the amount of people that call and miss a car by hours and sometimes even minutes. So if you're interested in a high quality 1968 Camaro, consider this one, hangsters.com.